You look happy. I am, now that we understand the potential of spy rights. And it's all because Jude wouldn't give up. I'm all like, yeah, take that, world! Jude can really do great things when he tries. I always knew that he could! <laughs> They're just as happy with his success as if it were their own. I completely understand their sentiment, though. Jude had never been the type to lead the way. But this time, he chose a path and followed it through. It's always good to see positive growth. I wonder whose influence that was. One thing's for sure, it certainly wasn't yours. Oh? Haven't you ever heard of reverse psychology? Teaching by bad example? At least your humility makes a fine example. It's good to see everyone upbeat for a change. Yes! Is it just me, or are we the strongest group ever? Whoa, come on, Leia. You need to calm down. No, Jude, you need to calm the heck up! Why can't you be happy about this? I, for one, am moved by our achievement. I never imagined I'd be so strong at this age. That is quite an accomplishment. No Iggy back can stop you! I'm proud of you, Rowan. Now you've done it all, huh? Whatever do you mean? The legend of mighty Giza has only just begun. See, Jude, you need to be more like Rowan. Get into the spirit- Guards down. What? No matter how strong you get, you still drop your guard when you get excited. You need to work on that. That whole act was just to catch me off guard? Possibly. Oh, but I truly am happy to be this strong. That's one point for Rowan. Fine, I'll be more careful. Olympias doesn't seem to be any greener out this way. Nope. Pretty much everywhere outside the cities is like this. If anything, it's a little worse than I remember it. The lack of spirits must have broken the cycle of nature. To the people of Olympias, this is what nature looks like. When I first laid eyes on the forests of Rizamaxia, I could barely comprehend what I was seeing. So this is the world that Spyrix has given you. Go ahead and say it. We brought this on ourselves. That may be true, but still... Let me make sure I have this straight. We use boosters to infuse spirit fossils with mana, and then a spyrite is born. Because unlike Spyrix devices, spyrites can use arts without harming spirits. Did you actually take notes while Balin was talking? Yes, but there are still things I don't understand. If there are things you actually do understand, then you're way ahead of me. I bet Tipo'd say, Hey, you need to study, Leia! Ah, but after that, he'd probably say, I don't understand any of this either. <laughs> probably. Hey, no Tipo impersonations! Ah, he heard us! You're both being rude! Elise, do you understand Spyrite theory? Of... of course I do. There's no way replacing everything Spyrix with Spyrites is going to be easy as it sounds. In terms of raw numbers, just think of how many Spyrites we'll need. It's true. The Spyrites need to be researched, created, distributed. It won't happen overnight. There is much that needs to be done. But if we can't buy more time, the spirits will go extinct. I will buy us time. Maxwell said it himself. If we remove the schism, the mana that it contains could sustain Olympias for a considerable amount of time. And that's what you intend to do? Yes, it is. It's a long road ahead for all of us. But the more pressing problem is Gaius. If we can't stop him, it'll be too late for Olympias. Yeah. Muse seems to have fallen completely under Gaius's control. I'd say it's more that Muse has finally found someone she can rely on. She had been yearning for someone to guide her. That girl has some big time dependency issues. She's like my own dark shadow. I wish we could have met under different circumstances. Whatever the nature of their relationship, Muse's ability to manipulate dimensional space is now in Gaius's hands. That is no trivial matter. Agreed. Even the Great Spirits are no match for a blade that can sever dimensional barriers. That doesn't sound promising. Should we turn tail and run away? Yes, let's do that. <laughs> do you really think I would say such a thing? 
Of no, course not. You know me well. Oh, yeah! Snag something good! Is it really okay to steal like that? Of course it is! We won that battle fair and square! Yikes. So might makes right, huh? Does that mean if we lose, the enemy might take something of ours? Yep. If we were to lose, the enemies could have Tipo. What? You can't take Tipo without my permission! Well, let them have your hairband! Hey, that's off limits! I had to save up my allowance for weeks to buy this. It's my number one favorite. But I'm everyone's number one favorite! Fine, fine. If we lose, we'll just have to sacrifice... Alvin's coat. The hell you will! I love this thing! 